Hello, I'm Buzz Moran. Welcome to our sound effects laboratory. Today we're going to be trying to make the sound of a train. <laughs> Who rides trains anymore? Well, in the world of the cinema, plenty of people do. And we might need to fill in that sound at some point. Let's see what we can find. The sound of a train usually consists of two separate sounds. The engines chugging along and a train whistle. Let's try to make a device for the chugging sound of a train using some common household gravel in a pitcher and a tube from a popular brand of oatmeal. Utilizing gravity, we'll now pour this gravel into the cardboard oatmeal tube. Let's try it. Perfect. We'll fill it just under halfway full of gravel. Now, place the lid on top of your container. Holding the lid on tightly, shake it rhythmically. You're in training. <laughs> this technique of using gravel inside of a cardboard oatmeal container makes a great deep sound for a train, but it's also very heavy very difficult to hold, difficult to travel with, and it's also difficult to hold a train whistle to blow into while you're making the sound of the train chugging. Let's try something different. How about these maracas? Well, that should be fun. These maracas are great if you have a tiny, tiny train that makes a very light sound. But if you have a train that's large enough to carry, say, a person, well, these just won't cover it. Sorry, maracas. Personally, my favorite way to make the sound of a train is to use a box of a popular brand of macaroni and cheese. Let's try it now. Place the box on its side and shake it back and forth, gently. Now couple this sound with a deep and resonant train whistle. You've just transformed your ordinary studio into a train yard. Enjoy!